Gonna want to avoid I-95 northbound in the Fredericksburg area this weekend. There's a major construction work plan, but the good news is it's for a project that'll hopefully put an end to all of the traffic. If you've ever traveled down I-95, you know exactly where things come to a halt. Right here in the area of the Rappahannock River Bridge. It's nothing new, but the hope is that this is the last time you'll be dealing with this notorious bottleneck situation. We actually got to break ground probably around um, October of last year. So what we're doing essentially is building three new lanes southbound at this time that's going to help carry through traffic through the corridor and is going to allow that local traffic to go into what we call a collector lane on the outside that will then feed into the Route 3 uh, interchange. The hope is that the local and through lanes will ease some of the congestion. The $132 million project will include three new bridges over Route 17, two to replace old ones and a new one to accommodate those through lanes. And the project is actually ahead of schedule. It's slated to be finished May 2022, but VDOT says it could be completed a few months sooner. When this is all done, you should be able to come down to 133 and after you get past the 140 project, come to 133, you'll hopefully no longer be sitting in traffic at the Rappahannock River Bridge. All right, so here's what you need to know for this weekend and the times that you'll want to avoid at 95 northbound. Crews are going to be doing 18 hours of paving and lanes will be reduced from 4 p.m. Saturday to 10 a.m. Sunday in the Fredericksburg area. And VDOT, of course, encouraging drivers to find an alternate route. Reese.